Okay, part two, we've brought you down to Harbour Beach. This beach adjoins the, um, obviously the harbour and the marina village. You can see how beautiful the beaches are. We've got a rising tide and it's very, very safe. There are lifeguards positioned on every single beach in Mackay. And this is one of the lifeguard offices over here. And these beachfront home sites are selling for $2.5 million. So we've got a number of um, quite substantial homes. Oops, I'll just scan that out. It's very hard to hold that steady when it's in place. I've just been chatting with one of the uh, people that have been walking up and down the esplanade here. Up to the apartments again of the marina. So I'm standing on the southern side of the marina. I'll just walk across the other side of the road where I'll park my car. And now I'm looking on the southern side, scanning up towards the northwest. Not a bad location. I think they've done a magnificent job of this marina. Not unlike Hamilton Island. The islands in the distance are Kiswick and Brampton Island. Mackay is known as the gateway to the Witch Sundays. That's about it. I'm going to go and have some breakfast and then we'll come back and have a look at some estates. Okay, my uh, second stop today is at a little picnic spot in Slade Point, which is five minutes north um, of the Marina Village where we just were. And we're looking at Kiswick Island and Brampton Island and the entrance into the Whitsunday Passage. So further up in the distance we've got Lindemann Island, Hamilton Island, Lindemann obviously is Club Med, Daydream, Long Island, 74 tropical islands and 14 island resorts, stopping at the northernmost island which is Hayman Island being a six star resort. So the beach we can see in the distance here is actually Black's Beach, which I'll take you to shortly. And scanning around here we're looking at Elmio Beach. You can just scan into that a little bit as well. Oops. You can see some of the houses on the hill range. Obviously they would have a uh, very nice water views. Envied by many people no doubt in the area. And you'll notice that the beaches are vast to say the least. And currently the time is 7.15 in the morning. Okay, back again now at the Slade Point Lookout, just on top of the hill. Got some beautiful homes down here on the Esplanade. Nice waterfront reserve houses. Beautiful little beach. Very small. This one, probably one of the smaller beaches in Mackay. We can see one of the coal boats out here getting loaded up with fuel. And on the right hand side of that is the Mackay Marina where I've just taken you before. Out in the distance and I'll try and scan this in as best I can is the container terminal of Hay Point. So I hope you can see that. And there's uh, several boats waiting to get loaded up with coal. And I'll just take you around. It's a little bit sunny in this part. And now back on to the start of the Whitsunday Islands, out in the distance. 
This is a gorgeous part of the world. Okay, so we're now standing at the Elmio Hotel, which is a pub and restaurant on top of the hill. I'm looking up towards Hamilton Island, and we are just standing around to the bottom of the Whitsunday group, including Brampton Island, Kiswick Island. And the peak out in the front is called Dolphin Heads, which I'm going to take you to next. And the small beach on the right hand side is Elmio Beach, beautiful little beach. I'll go down there next, I'll give you a bit of a look at that. Just a gorgeous, spectacular area. The day is very sunny, slightly overcast as you can see. And water's just absolutely beautiful. There's no large surf beaches here and the reason for that is because the barrier reef creates a breakwater which prevents the large waves coming in. So hence it's a very safe and beautiful boating area. So as promised, uh, here we are at the Elmio Surf Lifesaving Centre. Every beach in Mackay has a life-saving outlet. I think is an absolutely spectacular idea. Just another very, very, very pretty area. It's one of the gorgeous things about Mackay is that there's not just one beach, there are several beautiful beaches. Dolphin Heads in the distance, where I'm taking you to next, and around the corner from Dolphin Heads is Black's Beach and Black's Beach Estate, and that's where I'll be taking you to next. Nice little play area for children. Lovely houses. Quality of construction is very, very high. And a house like the one that we're looking at here at Elmio Beach would be around about 1.5 million in that location. Waterfront Reserve. So let's go around now to... Okay, Dolphin we're at uh, Dolphin Heads, and this is actually not a lookout, but I noticed a house for sale on top of the hill. So I thought I would just sneak up here, since it's for sale, and have a bit of a look at the view from this house. And I don't think it's too bad at all. I'm sure you'd agree with me. So this is Dolphin Heads, and in the distance we are looking at Black's Beach, on the right hand side and you'll have a look at some of the older estates well, the houses in the distance on the other side of those homes I'll just scan in there for you right on the other side of these homes is blackspeechcove.com Black's Beach Estate and next to Black's Beach Estate, I'm going to show you a new opportunity, which is called Plantation Palms. And that's one that we'll be having on the books for you very shortly. But what about these views? How good is this? How much would you pay for this? This is just gorgeous. My little car ripping its head off there, little Toyota, very good car. And we'll just bring you back around. It's not very often you get the opportunity to construct a home 
in such a beautiful part of the world with beautiful views like this. The time now is 20 past 8 in the morning obviously and we're looking out at Harbour Marina on the right hand side and I don't think I'll go and knock on the door however I just might anyway absolutely gorgeous and we'll be down on that Black's Beach very shortly